Hey guys, welcome back to uh, a, a new video here and uh, this time we're going to be talking about uh, the uh, 2018 gift that uh, we give away for Ronstock every year on Father's Day weekend. There's We have two days which is our customer appreciation uh, weekend and uh, I always give away something free and very exciting and this year I think we've got probably one of the most exciting packages. Uh, We've ever had because uh, and it, it's really neat and exciting because it's uh, about the rum runners and Windsor areas because of high walkers was always a, a, a haven for the rum runners back in the prohibition days of the United States and uh, Capone and the Purple Gang and all those guys all uh, uh, had a lot of activity through our area here so what I've done here is uh, I'm portraying um, a scene of a hideaway and uh, the cars that you're seeing right here you're going to see at the end of the painting and you've probably been watching it on uh, Facebook but uh, these cars are the spent cars the ones that were used up by the the gangsters when they were doing their rum running and I don't know is it a highway it might be a hideaway here in Windsor or a hideaway in Detroit but uh, I wanted to show on the right hand side uh, at the end of the video you'll see these beautiful clean cars and then these guys are all shot up and kind of tucked away and probably been used for parts by the mechanics that these guys would use to soup up their cars anyhow. And the cases in the, the foreground uh, you're going to see in the next video and the next uh, Facebook uh, post that those cases are uh, different types of uh, you know, it would be Heim Walker's uh, Canadian Club whiskey. I think I'm going to have a Stroh's beer. There's two or three Detroit uh, beers and the Canadian whiskey that are going to be shown there. And that's just actually to give it that international flavor. Anyway, uh, the cars are uh, going really quickly here. Uh, I, I did a real uh, simple background and um, I wanted to make sure that there was not like it wasn't overpowering because we're on the right hand side you see the gripping uh, at the right hand bottom you see the gripping open area right beside the cases there that's going to be a, a big whiskey barrel and that whiskey barrel is going to have a real special piece on it which is a, a, a glass bottle it's a real deep uh, amber colored bottle that uh, Hiram Walker's actually designed during the Prohibition days. It was designed like a Mickey uh, shape. It's a flat, uh, flat-ish bottle, kind of curved, almost like a canteen. And the reason they did that is because the uh, the bottles would be easier to to handle. And you know, uh, Hiram Walker's was also involved with the rum running. They, in Canada, booze was still legal. In the United States through pro their prohibition. Uh, uh, was it was illegal there, but it wasn't illegal here. But uh, Walkers got kind of smart, and they they figured out ways to make things happen. I actually got it from uh, from firsthand from the uh, son of uh, a dispatch uh, officer for Heim Walkers during the prohibition. Uh, Heim Walkers would uh, ship K uh, whiskey across to Mexico, and uh, every last shipment that went over by truck was. Uh, hijacked. Uh, obviously it was planned out to be hijacked and a funny little story was uh, with this man, I'm not going to mention any names, uh, I would if you were here personally but probably not uh, uh, online like this but anyway uh, the uh, as the truck uh, headed across the United States it was always destined to be hijacked at a certain point in the United States always different and for some reason this one truck made it through to uh, to Mexico so the dispatch out of uh, Windsor Ontario had to actually replan it and have the whiskey rejected in Mexico and shipped back to Canada and on the way back they actually <laughs> it was uh, hijacked and taken into possession by its at that point rightful owners I guess if you want to call it like that but anyway, uh, the, the, Colleen has gone out and is really, this is a really exciting part of this thing is we wanted something because we did the Bablo print last year and we, had, we found 80 little tickets uh, 
for the Bob Lowe piece, and uh, we every time we uh, everybody that ordered the frame until we had 80 frames sold got a free ticket put into their uh, into their um, frame, like down cut into the mats of the frame. And this year, we're actually uh, Colleen was really really lucky and found some really rare poker chips, which are clay poker chips that are Heim Walker poker chips. So anybody who's going to be framing with us in the very first 74 frames we have, because we only have 74 of these chips to give, uh, then we're going to have a custom-made frame and we're actually going to put the chips into the frame. So that's really, really going to be cool. Now I move along here really fast. Uh, I won't get through everything today with you, but the next video we'll talk a bit more about this framing stuff. And, and we've really got a really, really cool printer's proof package that's happening too. So anyway, I'm just putting the back end of this Roadster, or the, the roof on of this Roadster. You see the dust in the air. I, I, this is the first time I've really done this much dust and atmosphere in a painting. I think it's really turned out lovely. Anyway, uh, until next time, and this the next video will be coming fairly shortly, uh, stay tuned with this and stick with it and uh, come back and see us. Uh, we will let you know on Facebook when the next one is ready. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye. Skippy.